Here's a tutorial we're going to do with the contour editor, which I didn't really know much about, and it really has some great functions. So the first thing we'll do is type in some text. Let's go ahead and type, uh, let's say, park. All right. Uh, okay, let's put that in the middle. All right. Now I've already sized it with the transform tool. Now you remember that our text reversal, white on white, We'll go ahead and change this to their foreground clutter white. All right, just go Option Delete, and then come under here. Now, what is this box? This is the Add a Layer Style. I'm going to open that up. We're going to go to Outer Glow. We've done this before. Okay, Layer Style. Change your Blend Mode to Multiply. Uh, let's go down here and change your color to a dark gray or black. Go ahead and change your element to precise. Go ahead and spread it out a little. Size a little. All right. Let's move this over. Now, uh, let's talk about the contour editor. Under quality, right here, if you click that, a box pops up called the contour editor. In this window, you have a mapping box that almost looks like curves. And over here, under preset, when I, when I select this, here are some of the uh, contour editor functions that we have. Uh, now watch the text as I select one little linear. It doesn't do much. Cone. There you go. It changed cone inverted. Created outline. Deep. Shallow. Gaussian. Half round and look at the uh, the way the curves are going here in the mapping box ring. Now I can watch how if I change one, it modifies it some more in the window here. Okay, and that and, and of course as you see that turns it in the minute you start editing in the window it goes to a custom effect. Let's come in and shape down here notch slope. Rolling slope, ascending. Um, let's stay with that one. Go OK. Uh, I'm going to select anti alias here to smooth it out. Now, let's come down over here where you see contour again and select that. And watch, there'll be a little change, as you can tell. It's basically the same thing. Now, if you uh, just click here in the window, I'm sorry, forget that. If you click the arrow in the window, a bunch of these pops up again and you can change them just by the uh, the shapes Some different functions here let's go okay uh, so you can see here you can create some interesting effects let's go under the add layer style again and let's look at some other things we can do um, let's open the window Okay, um, let's select satin, and it, it did a fill. I'm going to go ahead and do anti-alias. Now invert was selected, so if I turn it off, it goes back to white, dark. There's that contour editor again, okay. Now here's your angle. If you change that around, that'll change, change some things too, okay. Now um, let's try texture. All right, open up a bunch of textures here. Do invert. There you go. You can do a variety of functions. Get some textures. Keep clicking. Come on down. Okay. I think I'll go with that. All right. Uh, cover overlay. Uh, you don't have to use red if you select your uh, color window here. Pops up. Color picker. Uh, you can go to blue. Go ahead and select blue. Nice, nice midnight blue almost. Very nice. And of course, you can change your opacity here. Okay, we're about 85%, 86. Okay, gradient overlay. You can go with that. Check your gradients.
put a gradient. Now there's not much going on, but just it's very subtle. Okay. Let's go okay. Again, you can change your angle. All right. Change the linear to radial. Angle. Reflected. Diamond. That's some subtle changes. Do a reverse. All right. Pattern overlay. Basically the same as texture. All right. And then stroke. Again, now you notice it, it, that you have to highlight. You see the way pattern overlay is highlighted. Like, even though this is checked, to get over here and change the function, you have to highlight it. Watch what happens. There you go. Fill type color, gradient. Okay. It changes it. Go back to color. All right. Now, again, you, you click your color picker. You can go to some other colors, of course. Try yellow. Go OK. So that just shows you um, some of the functions in the layer style window. You've got an unlimited amount of possibilities that you can do with this. And um, just use your own creativity and see what you can come up with. Let's go OK. There you are. And also notice here under the layers palette window, um, if I turn off some of the functions, turn them back on, then I get some, some other interesting effects here. Turn off the bevel and emboss. Turn off satin. Turn back on the bevel and emboss. Turn that off. There's another function. Turn that off. Look at that. Over there, cover overlay. Turn off gradient. Another effect. Turn that off. Another effect. Turn that on. Turn that off. Another effect. Turn off stroke. Another effect. Turn this on. And then turn that off. So you've got a lot of things here that you could do. Turn effects off. Everything goes off. Outer glow. Okay. So those are some of the effects you can do with Add a Later Style.